What's up, Internet? We are here with another lovely day on the island. Apparently, we're going to get a relocated permanent building for our services building, which is, I mean, okay, if that's sort of your thing, I guess. We got KK Metal. I think we need to have that. And something from the HHA. We're getting a B-rank house. I don't know how we got a B-rank house, but, uh, all right, sure. See what we got. Go inside, take a good old look, and see what we have. Okay, well, let's start by getting our KK metal out. And see what that's all about. Yeah! That's my kind of jam right there. It doesn't really match the house theme, but yeah, I like that music. An HHH, HHA pennant. What do we have here? Hang on wall. Oh, cool. I saw one of those in my brother's house. I thought it looked cool. So I'm okay with keeping that. All right. So what else are we gonna do today? Apparently we've got a new villager in town, Marina, who I think I talked about the other day. I believe she's an octopus. Let's go say hi to her first of all. Now I did hear that once we get the permanent resident building or whatever that Nook is working on right now, uh, you lose the awesome guitar twang in the background that kind of makes this actually once again feel like a deserted island. That's kind of the whole point. Uh, so for those of you who are interested, I recorded an hour's worth of audio of that last night. But uh, I think we have one of now three octopus villagers. Oh, and she's got like a shooting star shirt. Oh, that's cool. All right, well, I hope to see you later there, Marina. She seems nice. All right. What butterfly is that? Oh, it's the big yellow butterfly. I asked because I know that the big blue butterfly is going to stop showing up soon, and also it sells for a lot of bells, so if we're into the big blue butterfly at any point, we kind of need to catch it. Pick this up. I got a thing that allows us to actually make use of the bamboo shoots we've got. It's some kind of wall. Um, it, it looks like a fake wall, but I think that in the crafting that's just a stand-in to show that it's wallpaper. I'm not sure though. All right. Yay for feet. I like my feet. I think calling us friends might be a stretch. They're barreled, but, uh... Really, a shell speaker. Well, now I need to see what this is all about. You made a speaker out of shells? Oh, that's actually very cool. Oh, and it actually does let us access all the songs we've got. That's actually a really cool thing. Thank you, Beryl. I'm not sure I like you. Honestly, I think you're probably my least favorite villager we've got, but... This was a very cool present you got us. It's basically like the radio, but it's more you know, themed towards island life, and I appreciate that. Let's see what Mabel's up to. Maybe she's got some new clothes for us today. What do you have on sale? What is this? Running tights? I feel I need this in my life. I don't know what it is, but it's bright and it's colorful, and I need it. <laughs> Now, I'm thinking if we spend enough at Mabel's place, she'll actually set up a proper shop here, so it might be worth just investing a few bells here and now, just so that we don't have to deal with it later. And it might give us greater access to clothes moving forward. So I think that might be a good idea. Let's catch this paper kite butterfly. I keep wanting to call a moth, it's not. I just associate uh, things that are vaguely butterfly-ish without uh, a lot of color as moths. They are socks. 
Well, that's interesting. Okay, so let's summon our magic star wand of... Uh, probably more pain than it's worth. Alright. Let's edit wand outfits. Outfit 2. Uh, create outfit. Oh yeah. That's stylish. Hmm. Uh, let's change image. That's not what I wanted. Swap clothes. Alright, I don't want that. I absolutely want that. <laughs> I don't have pants, though. We'll have to work on the lack of pants. Magic star powers activate. Rainbow type powers go. Yeah. Mabel, I need some pants. What can you do for me? I'm not sure what's going on on the island tonight, Duchess. Um, apparently, Nook is relocating to a bigger building, which I think is going to change the music, like you were complaining about. But, we did actually, like, record all that audio, so it should be good. Uh, other than that, I don't really know. I'm just sort of wandering around. We have a new villager. She's an octopus. Frilly sweatpants. Ugh. I'm just going to buy, like, one of everything she has, and hopefully she'll decide to ultimately join the village. Maxi shirt dress. I don't think so. Frilly sweatpants. That sounds like a really bad name for a band. Frilly sweatpants. I will take a ribbon, though. Although, I would probably call it a tie, but whatever. Let's see. I've got a Kacho shirt. I think I need that as well. I'll probably then proceed to just sell all this nonsense, but still. I'll buy this. And I'll buy the pink dress thingy, because why not? Yeah, there's not a lot of uh, octopus villagers. There's only, I think, three. So to get one's kind of cool. There, we've almost spent 10,000 bells on Mabel. If that doesn't show her that we need more fashion in this place, I don't know what will. Also, we got rainbow socks, which is just awesome. Oh, this wand is annoying. Okay. I hate it, but let's take off those shorts as well and work on our style. Okay, swap clothes. No, I don't think that'll work. That could work, but I hate that color. <laughs> Shorts. Then you can't see that. No, no. Those are socks. Oh no, they're not. That's a different layer entirely. That's kind of insane. There's way too many layers of stuff in this game. Alright, that looks good, I guess. Oh. Hold on. What does this do? Oh, it's a hair thing. I don't think I can rock that. <laughs> That'll do. Although we are really gonna have to change those shorts colors. Okay, so you can evict villagers. What villager did you get that you don't like so much? Okay, uh, I need to go to pockets. Storage. 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 And storage. Oh, we have to put a springy ride on somewhere too. 
I keep going on adventures to random islands hoping I'm going to run into another villager, but that never seems to happen. I mean, that's how we got our favorite villager so far, but... But I'm still hoping we get more and better ones, because I do not like barreled. Another cardboard box and white honeycomb tile. Hmm. Let's see what the Nook ATM can provide us with today. There's more points for us. Alright, let's go shopping. An elephant slide. <laughs> I don't think I could rock that. Denim pants. Yes, 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 yes. We gotta have our favorite song. That's just, that's how that works. Uh, I don't think there's anything we need for Nook Miles yet. I wish they'd change up their stuff in here a little bit more frequently. That Nook flooring is not bad. Maybe I'll go on an adventure later. Who knows? Let's talk to Nook. Maybe he's got something special to say. I wanted to talk to you about this whole thing about you getting a bigger building. I don't know why they give you that option if he's not going to actually tell you anything. Huh. So it might be other island development. I don't know, my experience with other islands in general has just been weird. Because, I mean, again, I haven't been seeing anyone new but I've also not been running into any islands that don't have peaches for fruit, and that annoys me. Hey, we got a message bottle. Now that's from Gaston. Cleaning the house found an old DIY recipe. A windflower crown. All right. That's something we can use, because we do have some windflowers. Collect all the shells we can, sell them to the nooklings. Alright, we got this. We got this coral. Another shell. Alright, let's go talk to the nooklings. See what they're selling today. Adventure this way. Still not sure how I feel about Barreled. I think he's kind of annoying. Catch this. That's a big fish in that pond. It's probably a carp. Grab that. I'm hoping we run into more Emperor Butterflies, because apparently they're going away in a couple days, and they sell for a fair bit. Come on, Mr. Fish. Get over here. I want to catch you. That's too far away. It might be a koi. Koi and carp tend to take up the same places, because they are effectively the same fish. It's a carp. Which is just a koi without the fancy scales. As I said before, you know, within one generation, if you're not properly breeding a koi, they just turn back into carps. Is that a cotton candy machine? Oh snap, cotton candy. <laughs> I'd like to sell some things. Like this cardboard box, this butterfly, that, 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 that. That's... I'm not sure about that flooring. I'll get rid of that, get rid of that. Yeah, I think that'll do for the moment. I'll take 4,000 bells. Not seeing much I want to actually buy here right now. Is there anything in the cupboard? Pansies, white wind flowers, yellow pa Ooh, we need yellow pansies because we don't have any of those yet. 
Wildest Dreams DIY. Okay. I think I need that because that sounds amazing. I have some pretty wild dreams there, Nooklings. You better not disappoint. Alright. Let's keep looking. Peach, flimsy wiring crown, slingshot ladder, vaulting pole. I think I already have the test your skills DIY. What do we have over here? Blue rubber flooring. <laughs> Arched windows! Those are old school designs, I think. I think that was the kind I liked from the original Animal Crossing. I'll grab this cool vinyl floor, too. Propagate the economy! Alright, let's go. Oh, we spent a lot of money on the Nooklings as well as Mabel, so hopefully that'll help things along. There's Marina's house, but she won't be doing anything today. She's got to unpack. Excuse me, Mabel. I've got to go test some flooring out. I'm genuinely considering just making a new character and just living in a tent. Just because I feel like we are still very, very rapidly moving as far away from this game's initial point as we could be. And I don't care for that so much. Alright, let's see about this white honeycomb floor. That's not that particularly good. Cool vinyl. Oh yeah. I kind of like that. This is the room of blue things. And my nice, uh... My nice bed. Arched windows. That is not the same arched windows I remember. The one I remember it had like blue windows and it was fancy. Let's put that there. I wonder how many more like wallpapers in Flooring Sahara has that are animated like this. Like seriously, the clouds move. That is so cool. <laughs> I'm really hoping there's more like that, that just have, like, animated layering to it, because that is such a neat feature. Also, we have got to make a custom phone case at some point. I still have to come up with a custom design at some point, though. Although, rather, I, I have one in mind, I just need to actually, like, you know, make it. Well, there's... I have a fossil for you. I'm the only person who delivers fossils to you. It's me. Please assess this fossil. I would like to assess this one fossil, please. We have a Mega Cero skull. Well, if you want to discover it, it's all yours. Um. I'm not going to take offense to being referred to as America because we are technically North Americans, but it's it's sort of like referring to like an Australian as someone from New Zealand or vice versa, or like someone from Scotland as Irish or, or vice versa. It's just, you know, it, it's not great, but at the same time, it's like, I, I get there's no ill intent or anything, so it's, you know, I, I'm not offended by it, but I know a lot of people who would be. But I think it just depends on the person. Oh, we can make a crown now. Let's do it. I think we need three of each color. So let's do it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's make ourselves a crown. Just to say that we did it, because I like seeing little check parks in my uh, crafting page. A wooden fish, you say? That does not look like a fish. Like, at all, and I kind of want it just because how bizarre that is. Got a pan flute. A sink. Oh, there's a pizza oven? Oh, snap. <laughs> I kind of need that in my life. A hearth. What else do we have? 
wonder what the background color to all these is. Yeah, see, I'm pretty sure it's actually just a wallpaper, but it looks like it comes with like a full wall attached to it, which is bizarre to me. Hyacinth tulips. We don't have tulips yet. We gotta find some tulips. Okay, well, we need to make this wooden fish thing because that's bizarre. But I will craft this crown. And now we have a crown. But we probably can't wear it because we're... Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we have enough basically to make one more if we just grab one of each flower, so let's do it. Yeah, I'll make another one. Craft this. Oh, sorry, no, I, I misinterpreted your question. I thought you were asking, like, do Canadians get annoyed when they're referred to as Americans? And the answer is yes, somewhat, but, uh, uh, no, we, we can refer to it as the U.S., or we refer to it as America. We use the terms interchangeably, basically. It's no big deal to us. As far as we're concerned, it's basically the same thing. Well, we do live on this continent too, but you know. We're not America, we're not the ones who make a whole big deal about being the greatest country or whatever, which I've always found to be silly. I mean, especially seeing as who's running your country right now, but... Yeah, uh, we we don't really take offense to the U.S. being referred to as America or anything. Fuchsia! I don't know if you're going to wear it, but I really want to see you wear it. Please wear this hat. It would just make my day. I crafted it. Oh, snap! She actually wears it! Okay, that's actually cool. I, I genuinely didn't think they would actually wear, like, uh accessories that I made. Now we're even-ish. Actually, that's probably a better deal than all the materials I used to make. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> that is cool. I like that. I'm gonna give the other one to Annabelle. I've decided. Where's my Neoi bow? I kind of feel bad that I kind of put her in this weird spot where there's like literally no way to get to civilization but that just means she's got more time to practice being a pop star or whatever she's claiming to do what are you doing Annabelle what you up to a shell bed you say <laughs> I'm building a thing! Yes, please teach me. I like our little island pop star. Not just because she's a pangolin, but because she's just awesome. Alright, let's learn this thing. Alright, we know how to make a shell bed. I can't give her anything right now. <laughs> uh, cola, mostly. Slushies, is that an option? Uh, I can't drink coffee, so I, I just subsist on Coke. And if I was in America, I'd have vanilla Coke, because that's the only place you can get it now, but, uh... Cola, because it's the only way I get caffeine in my system, and seeing as I work 20 hours a day, I really need it. Also, they're acknowledging it. In Canada, we actually call it pop, not soda. But it's just a shortened version of soda pop. That's pretty cool. I'm glad they acknowledge that. That's cultural awareness is what that is. Huh. 
We didn't buy any seeds. We should go do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I could kind of see your, your thoughts about uh, cultural superiority and stuff kind of going out the window once you actually get to experience other cultures and stuff. What's important is that you enjoy where you live in life. Because no matter what country you live in, as long as you're happy with where you live, that's what matters. As long as you're happy. That's that's the key important goal, I think. Alright, let's go plant some more pansies. I wonder if at some point they'll accidentally give you viola seeds mixing them up because that was something I ran into a lot working in greenhouses is just a lot of people don't seem to understand that violas and pansies are different things. They look similar and they've got the basically same growing areas, but they're not the same. One is significantly bigger in flower than the other. Plant one, plant two, plant three, plant four, plant five. I'm really hoping we get some hybrid flowers soon. It'd be nice. Uh, yeah, I worked in a greenhouse for 15 years. It was my first job of, like, three I've ever had. And it's the only one that ever really rehired me. Um, well, the main reason I went to work there was because it was literally a block away from my house, and I couldn't drive, and I have severe anxiety, so I can't take a bus or anything. That's, that's a little rough for me. But the fact it was, like, a block away from my house made things really nice. I certainly didn't work there for the pay or for the people who ran the place, because they were not good people, and they paid me absolutely nothing. But I worked there for 15 years... Both because it was the only job I could get, but also because, you know, it was close by, and... You know, I do quite like gardening. I learned a lot from my grandpa when he was alive, and... You know, last year my grandma kind of contracted me to handle growing his garden for her, which was kind of fun. I quite like gardening. I'm actually quite impressed with how realistic a lot of the flowers actually look like here. I mean, I saw the hyacinths, and I was like, yep, that's exactly what that actually is. That's impressive. Oh, there were some fossils we had to go dig up. Come on, Neoibo. Now we need our almighty shovel for shovelry. And now I gotta go play Shovel Knight again. I've actually never gotten very far in Shovel Knight. I always just restart and play it over again. But I've never gotten really far in it. Which is a shame, because it's a great game. Fantastic soundtrack. Alright, we gotta go show Blithers some more fossils. That sounds like a good next step. Oh, Blithers is up now. Hooray! I guess he gets up at 6 p.m. Alright, let's get rid of these. Yep, more than one there, Blithers. I think that means that he has both of these, so we can't actually make the donation. Yeah. So the question is, what fossils did we get? Because I am in the market for a few myself. And I'd hate to sell ones I actually want to keep. Let's find out. It's like a little, uh, fossilized coelacanth. I don't think I can hang that up on a wall, though. 
a spino torso. That looks terrifying. <laughs> that reminds me of um, Dark Souls. There was literally this. They were just completely headless dragons. Just their lower legs just charging around killing you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to play Dark Souls again. That's a fun game. I don't think I can hang that up on the wall. If I can, I'll keep it, because I think that would look cool on a wall, but... Yeah, nope. Unfortunately, it's not wall placeable, even though it is a flat plane. You could probably just put it up on a shelf or something, but... I guess that's not an option. Alright, well, we can go sell those to the Nooklings. That seems like a sensible next step. Oh, she's still wearing it! How you doing, Fuchsia? Yeah, that fossil rug was something I bought from Sahara. I did welcome her. Well, maybe Marina wants a... a, um... wreath. Let's find out. Marina! Ah, uh, no. She won't do anything yet. That's kind of sad. She looks like a big bubblegum. <laughs> oh, she's adorable. Alright, let's go sell some fossils to the Nooklings. They need a rocking chair, but I don't think I have the ability to make one of those yet. Yeah, Marina's pretty cute. I think I still like Annabelle a little bit better, but that's because pangolins are one of the coolest animals, I think. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Oh, I definitely need to hold on to that. What does that do for you, Nooklings? I'll take 10,000 bells. Actually, since we're still uh, there, I'm gonna buy some more windflower seeds, because why not? White pansies, white windflower, red hyacinth. We don't have a lot of white windflowers, so I'll take... I'll take five. It'll do. I'm kind of hoping there's more stuff you can do with just random junk that you get. I mean, I got this pair of boots from fishing them up. I'd like more DIY recipes for, like, junk stuff. I think that's really cool. Let's go plant some more flowers and we can go water them. Alright. I've seen some people taking good use of the fact you can just put patterns anywhere now as well. Like I, I mentioned, I saw someone basically recreate Pokemon Sapphire and Ruby just by layering a bunch of tiles that they designed. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Uh, I saw someone put a shipwrecked Link from A Link to the Past, or A Link's Awakening, on the beach. Like the original scene from that game, which was pretty funny. I like that people are doing crazy stuff with that. Patty and Maple. I don't know how I feel about all my villagers just yet. I, I'm not that interested in Antonio, honestly. He's just kind of there. Uh, I don't mind Fuchsia. But I don't like Beryl at all. He's just kind of weird. But I do like Marina, and I do rather like Annabelle. I'm just hoping I can run into Pearl and Pierce at some point, because they're my two favorites of all time. this. Just gotta keep watering all the wind flowers. Hopefully we'll get hybrid flowers eventually. Oh, you know what? 
Now that we have customization, I think we can change the color of our radio. Maybe we should do that. I think I had Patty in the original Animal Crossing, come to think of it. In my very first town, the first time I played. She was the uh, brown cow whose catchphrase was, how now? I remember that. Yeah, I think Barold's a newer villager, because I'm not familiar with him. I'm thinking he was probably added in the update of uh, New Leaf that I never bothered playing. Because I just sort of stopped playing New Leaf after a while. Um, but he's weird. He's kind of a weird, goofy bear. Whose name is a parody of Bear and Herald, I guess. Okay, storage. I think we need softwood. We need wood, and we need iron nougats. Okay, let's get crafting. First thing we need, obviously, is we need ourselves, what is this, a shell bed? Oh, snaps. Yeah. I, th I think we need to have, like, an entire house made of shell furniture. Like, I just... I think that's a necessary thing at this point. We're gonna make this. Obviously. Um, to get star fragments, you have to wait for shooting stars to come over your town. And then press A to make a wish on them. Um, if you like... Provided at some point you actually get access to uh, Nintendo Online, you can come and have mine. Because <laughs> at least uh, at present I'd have no use for them. Outside of just making the star wand of basically more frustrating than its worthness. But uh, yeah, you make a wish on a shooting star and the next day they wash up on your beach. I don't think there's any correlation between how much you wish on stars and how many... Um, fragments show up on the beach, just if you do it, they'll show up next time. Because I think it registered that I wished on about 30 stars and... This is a fish? I don't get it. I think it's funny looking, but I don't get it. You're now my outside the house guard fish until I can figure out what I want to do with you. Alright, let's water some flowers. <sighs> oh, this is just nice and relaxing. I like this. I'm also quite a fan of the music that's playing in the background right now, so I, I don't know how I'm going to feel about when they introduce hourly tracks. So, I mean, I guess it's good that I... Oh, she's dancing! <laughs> what are you doing, Fuchsia? She's looking good with that flower wreath. Well, buy some stuff from uh, Mabel so that we can get more fashion in town. You know, as much as I want to talk crap about Barold, he did give us this awesome shell speaker. So there is that. Hey, Bashful. How you doing? Where is Barold, anyway? He was here a minute ago. Maybe he's in his house. Ooh, we can snoop and see what Barold owns. And then we can make fun of him for it. For not having awesome taste in furniture like me. With my house full of basically nothing. Uh, I gotta get more flowers. <laughs> Maybe that's what our uh, Nook adventure for the day will be. Just go to another island, get flowers. I'd still like to get different fruits, though. Alright. Water this. Uh. 
Pretty soon it's gonna be nighttime and the butterflies will stop showing up as frequently. I do appreciate that they still show up at night though. While I was recording audio last night, for like until 8 p.m., I still saw butterflies flying around, which was kind of nice. Just grab that. Got a tiger butterfly. Nope. Barreled is not in his house. He's looking for snacks. That sounds like Barreled for you. What could he be? I mean, as far as I know, he doesn't have access to vaulting materials, so he can't fling himself across the river. Which means the only way to not be on this chunk of land would be to take the bridge. This also means he's not able to go up the cliffs, go into the middle island, or go see Annabelle. Which means he should be around here somewhere. There's Antonio. How you doing, Antonio? What's the latest? Honk. <laughs> oh, we got some Nook Miles. Claim. Got fossils assessed. And we caught some bugs. And we talked to people. I'm a pretty shy guy, actually. Okay, so... Just chatting with residents. I have trouble believing I've only chatted with ten people. Oh, we got another tiger butterfly. And somehow we have more Nook Miles. I think this time for just checking our phone. Ah, flowers. Caretaking ringleader. Oh, we're getting close to getting the end of that. Oop. Miles for miles. Get Nook Miles. So you get more Nook Miles. Yeah, we're gonna have to go on an adventure and go find a f some flowers and stuff. I think that'd be a fun little adventure. But where is Beryl? That coconut is not growing anywhere. Still kind of wish we could actually use that. Ooh, what y'all talking about? Include me. Why? <laughs> Shredded abs and a big floofy tail. Don't ask him that, he'll go into an existential crisis. <laughs> oh, barbells! <laughs> oh, he's having an existential crisis. Oh, that's kind of magical. Uh, you're doing it for you. Ah, there we go. Existential crises are nothing to laugh about, but that was funny. <laughs> I don't think I ever expected that out of Animal Crossing, honestly. That's kind of special. Ooh, shells. Got some butterflies. Go, 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 go. Catch another butterfly. Still no idea where Barrel went, though. He was just wandering. Oh, there goes my net. Oh, poor net. It's just doing its job, and now it can't do its job. There's Barrel. Barrel is a weird villager. I don't care for him so much. We're gonna have to make ourselves a new net if we're gonna go on a Nook adventure. Alright. I think that's our next plan then. So let's go empty out our pockets thanks to the Nooklings and go on an adventure. Oh, wait, I actually didn't want what's in the cabinet. He's... yeah, he's a little weird. <laughs> I think he's supposed to be like a lazy 
villager or something, but something about his design just comes across as just weird to me. Alright, I'll take a thousand bells. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to pay off our house tonight and get that taken care of while Nooks is remodeling. Still a hundred thousand short. Oh well. Let's get ourselves a new net and get ready to go on an adventure. But since we're here, and I just remembered, we're gonna see if we can customize this thing, because we have not taken advantage of the whole customization nonsense. All right, uh, we need those custom things, which I think have to be in our inventory. Got a custom phone case. Still have to, you know, make a design for it, though. Okay. I cannot customize my radio. I can customize my shovel. Huh. Well, that's neat. I mean, it's something that's gonna break, so that does me literally zero good, but neat. I'm just gonna put these here, because... Grab, drop, drop item. There we go. All right, I would like to craft something, yes. Let us craft this crappy net. Super speed crafting, that I don't think is actually faster. All right. We got a net. I don't think we need this bamboo here. Or soft wood, really. Might need standard wood. Can't customize our radio. That's a bit of a curveball I wasn't expecting, though. Place item. Alright, so our next step, we get ourselves a ticket. We'll go see what's going on in another island we can have an adventure on. And who knows, maybe we'll actually find fruit we need and a new villager that would be fun to talk to. But who knows. Okay, redeem Nook Miles, because we have a lot of them. I'll take this ticket. All right. Ah, uh, okay. Well, have a good night, Duchess. All right, let's go see what this island is all about. Maybe we'll finally find ourselves that fruit we need. Okay, Orville, we're gonna fly. Let's go to a Nook Miles Ticket Island. I am ready for takeoff. Let's hope we see something cool today, because these islands are a little underwhelming from my experience. No, I, I think I will probably not think what will dodos do, because that's a terrible idea, especially in regards to flying and being alive. I would think the exact opposite of that, actually. Alright, let's hope we get something good. Just don't be peaches, please don't be peaches. Alright, well I'm not seeing any poop! Ugh. Why is it always peaches? I'll collect some shells while we're here. Might try and pluck some weeds as well, because of course there's no miles associated with that, and there aren't exactly a lot in town. Wolfgang, aw! That's one of my more beloved villagers. A bamboo hat? 
Okay. I need to know what this looks like immediately. What is this hat made of bamboo? Ah. You'd think it would require bamboo, but no, just weeds. That's kind of weird. Okay, well, let's grab ourselves some shells so we can work on building ourselves a shell bed. And more shell furniture, because I assume there's probably going to be more. Grab as many of these weeds as we can get. Might be wise as well to equip the net just in case we run into wasps. Because we can sell them. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, a thing! Pants press? That sounds like some kind of bizarre either torture device or an exercise device. I'll have to see what that is. Well, you'll just have to talk to her next time, I guess. Alright, grab that, grab this. Grab this. Let's clean this place up. At the very least, we'll get some extra miles for it. Come on, wasps. No wasps. This, grab this. Come on, shake, 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 shake. Wasps. Got him. They're a lot less tough to deal with in this game than they were in previous ones. I mean, the original Animal Crossing, they kind of sucked to run into, but they were decent because you could pause the game to grab your stuff. But then starting in Wild World, you couldn't do that anymore. The moment you paused the screen, they'd still chase after you. And it wasn't until, I think, New Leaf that they added the ability to shake trees while holding a net. Might as well take some fruit while we're here. How much inventory space do we have? We've got a decent amount, but if we're gonna stock up on flowers, we might have to do something. Probably get rid of some shells or something, I guess. Not ideal, but... Such is how we have to do things sometimes. You know, I heard, and I genuinely don't remember, because apparently it was only in City Folk, and I played that one very briefly. Apparently there was a feature where grass would get trampled down the more it was walked upon, so you'd get, like, these really crappy dirt roads everywhere. <laughs> I'm glad that's not a feature anymore, because that's terrible. Clean this place up and get miles at the same time. That is multitasking of the highest caliber, possibly. Grab that, grab that, grab that. I'm really hoping we start getting some hybrid flowers eventually, because, you know, we've got so many. At some point, they have to start hybridizing. How much space do we have? Not as much as I would like. But we'll make do. One, two, three. Oh, there's a few here though. Got another white one. Still wish there was more villagers we could run into, though. Need another orange one. And we've at least got two of everything. That's about it. We really don't have a lot of space in our inventory. But maybe we'll find something good in these rocks. Possibly. We're gonna have to go and uh, find the money rock as well. That we haven't done yet. I don't think we have room for clay. Uh, well, we might, but I'll hold off on that. 
Only try and grab iron just because it's a little less hard, or a little harder to find. A little less common. Bury that there. Take that up. Whoa! Okay, well, if we position this right, it won't matter. Come on, iron. One. Two. Three. Alright, we got three pieces of iron. Grab that. Grab that. Grab that. Whoa! That is how not to actually dig up the thing you're trying to dig up. Oh, we got a caterpillar. Or a centipede. With its excessive number of legs. Grab that. Grab that. Grab this. Grab this. And this. And this. I really hope we get close to another Nook Miles... Milestone, so to speak, with collecting weeds, because... Marshall Village is not getting too many of those. Oop, that's not good. Let's try that again. This time, actually hit the rock. Two. Two. We got two. Not great. Not terrible, but not exceptional. Alright. I kind of wonder what the value of destroying rocks is, because I know you can do it. I'm just not sure there's much actual value to it. Oh, we got some more iron anyway. Well, you know find out. Let's not drop peaches on the ground, that's not what I want to do. Let's eat one. And see what destroying an actual rock will do. Well, we got a rock. Awesome. Is it just an extra drop from these things and then removing them? Because that's... dumb. Ooh, there's an iron we missed. Alright, well, we kind of got everything that we can hold anyway. I'd like to have gotten a few more of these flowers, but what can you do? Down, 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 down. Go, 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 go. I guess we're done. Wilbur! I'm ready to go home. There's not really anyone to talk to here. There's not really any treasure or anything. Just some flowers. Might as well go home. So let's go home. Alright. Well, now we should probably go plop these flowers off over here. Plant that. Whoopsie. I don't want to hold my star rod right now. Plant that. Plant that. Plant this. And plant that. There. Just a few more flowers. I've heard that the number of flowers you do have actually does coincide with the number of bugs you see. So if you get more flowers, you get more bugs. And you'll like see more butterflies flying around and stuff. That's useful information right there. Knowing that. Alright, Nooklings, I have some stuff I need to sell. Sell this and 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 this. I don't know what a pants press is. Again, sounds like a torture device or some sort of exercise routine. Well, that's another chunk of the way towards paying off our house. Uh, we might want to end up... Place item. Huh. 
Oh, it actually does do a thing. Cool. I mean, I don't need it, but cool. Alright, I think our next step is to find the money rock. I think that's everything I really need to do right now. Let's not draw down the hyacinths if we can help it. We're gonna have to find a better music for that shell thing, but we are definitely keeping that. I'm not sure where we're gonna put it officially, but we'll figure it out. We got all the time in the world. No, I need the bell rock. Also, we should probably buy another ticket for Nooks Airlines if we're going on an adventure tomorrow. That too would be a good plan. Oh, she's hanging out on her tire. What's going on with you, Fuchsia? Ah, oh, I'm glad you like it. It looked kind of punk metal, which seems to be your whole thing. So I put it outside your house. It's not the bell rock, which is kind of a problem, but what can we do? More iron. Grab that, grab that. Dig, 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 grab that. Alright. Here we go. What do we have here? Nope. Oh, we got more iron. Alright. More iron for us. I hope this is it, because I can only think of one more rock. And it's all the way up by Annabelle's place, which... Not ideal. Guess we're going up by Annabelle's place. Oh, what can you do? But since we're here, might as well go talk to Nook about getting ourselves another ticket. And then we can go on an adventure tomorrow! Multimedia terminal. Multimediate. I shall take this. You know, when I first read Coral Fence, I thought it said Coral Fence. I was like, oh, we're gonna have like a fence made out of coral? That would actually be really cool. Alright, I'll redeem that tomorrow. I think that'll be it for now. Nook Miles ATM thingy. We gotta get our Neoi bow out. Go, 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 go. Gonna run over here. Shove it in the water. And vault. Alright, rock. I know your secrets. You are secretly the money rock. And because of that, I'm gonna smack you and get a whole bunch of money. And that'll set us up for trying to pay off our house again. I knew it! What? No! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Well, that sucked. About 20 different ways. But, we got at least a few bells. Still a long way from being able to pay off our house, though. But, we're making progress. Let's 
still crafting, Annabelle? Yes, yes, I have. Yeah, that's that is weird. You're you're very right, Annabelle. Okay, it sounds like you're asking for people to break in and steal all of your stuff ever. I will take special note of this, Annabelle. All right. Pulling ourselves over the water as we do. I think that'll be it for tonight, but I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, follow the stream to know when we go live, because we do this every single night. Plus, Mario Maker, usually at bizarre times early in the morning, mainly because my sleep schedule is completely thrown out of whack because of this quarantine nonsense, but what can you do? I'm doing the best I can right now. Uh, you must want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see everything else I do, which is a lot of stuff. Really hoping to finally finish my N64 collection video, but I've got a lot more work ahead of me on that yet. Um, you might also want to check out and sub check out and subscribe. Yes, thank you, Brain. Uh, check out and support the show through its Patreon or PayPal, so that I can continue to do what I do to the best of my ability, which is constantly provide content while I'm slowly going crazy, surrounded by people who are way too loud to actually effectively record video with, which is a wee bit frustrating, honestly. But uh, what can you do? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. But until then, you know, stay safe out there. If you have to go outside, stay smart. If you don't, stay inside. And, you know, if you're going to go out, keep your distance from people, keep your hands washed, and just, you know, play it smart so that you don't get sick, because that is really the key important thing about all of this, so that you can continue to have a nice, happy, healthy life and continue to do awesome stuff. But anyway... I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.